In 2018, a Democrat to U.S. Senate candidate Beto O'Rourke announced record-breaking fundraising. During the third quarter, his campaign says he raised more than $38 million, and that's more than three times the $12 million Republican incumbent Ted Cruz raised during that same period. But as political reporter Jack Fink tells us, even with that fundraising advantage, at least one political analyst says O'Rourke needs to step up his game. One political analyst I spoke with says Beto O'Rourke needs to sharpen his advertising against Ted Cruz and stop playing Mr. Nice Guy. Hey. Democrat Beto O'Rourke is attracting big crowds and raising record amounts of money. But Republican Ted Cruz is still leading in the polls. SMU political science professor Cal Gilson says O'Rourke can still regain momentum. He's going to have to rethink his advertising campaign. Gilson says O'Rourke must explain to voters why Texas would be better off with him as senator than Cruz, something Gilson says O'Rourke has not done. O'Rourke has been unwilling to do the negative stuff, but I don't think you can just leave it out. Even if you're running a positive campaign, you still have to challenge the guy whose job you want. O'Rourke tells supporters he doesn't like going negative, and in his latest TV ad, he says he doesn't want to play to people's fears. I'm confident that when we see each other not as Democrats or Republicans, but as Texans, as Americans, as human beings, there's no stopping us. During his rally in Plano last week, Cruz mocked O'Rourke's ads. They're all about rainbows and puppies and hugging kids. So yeah, he may destroy the economy, open up the borders, make our houses less safe, and fundamentally weaken Texas, but he'll hug a kid. As for Cruz, his ads regularly attack O'Rourke's positions. Ted Cruz is leading the fight for the Texas oil and gas industry. But Beto O'Rourke is no friend of Texas energy. At his rally last night at McKinney, O'Rourke mocked Cruz's negative ads. The grainy photo of Beto O'Rourke, veins <laughs> popping out of his neck, is coming to get you and your family. Wants to do all these terrible things for Texas. Professor Gilson says in the last couple of weeks before Election Day, Cruz will likely run ads about his priorities if he's reelected. Gilson says that's typical of a campaign. But O'Rourke's campaign is not typical. He says he has refused to hire any consultants. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. And within the next half hour, O'Rourke plans to hold a rally in Fort Worth, his fifth in North Texas since Wednesday evening. Our crews are there, and we will have much more coming up at 6 o'clock. Crews held a rally in Houston earlier this afternoon. Cruz and O'Rourke are, are set to debate at least one more time before voters head to the polls. That matchup is happening in San Antonio this coming Tuesday. Our Jack Fink will be there. And a reminder, early voting begins in a little over a week on Monday, October 22nd. It runs through November 2nd. Election Day is Tuesday, November 6th.